how do I know that the name is first and then the wait? Maybe it doesn't like okay, Burp is doing weird stuff again. But what I don't get is why doesn't it work here? Maybe we can try another method. What was the other method that they suggested? Meta weblock get users blah 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 sufficient documents okay you know what let's get back to listing the stuff the methods what does the system multicol do or the get what yeah maybe an xml yeah that the, the blog post was about an email rpc brute force harsh you correct but there is a method i just saw which is called HTTP get flag. So let's try that one. Eh, what? Okay, is this the use of... This makes no sense. I, I'm more confused than I was before. What? How did this work? Eh? Okay, I'm gonna say that was... I guess it was easy. I'm more confused by the fact that this worked than the... Okay. And the root one is just get the root flag or what? Nice. Add to not... Wait, what does this... It says hello. Who would have thought? Yeah, I mean, I'm still a bit confused. Okay, so we have the normal things, I guess. I'm confused. Okay, you know what? Let's just... I, I'm, I'm at the loss for words. Let's just go with Metasploit. Maybe, maybe we search for... Mini orange, nothing here. Search, exploit, mini orange. Okay, nah, Drupal. I mean, I have the credentials, right? I, sorry. I successfully got the user flag already. It only took us one hour, which is crazy because the first blood here, user blood, was to what HTTP bot is this a real user that's just called the bot or is it okay what the hell just happened okay something is up with my VM I I, I don't know what's up but I had to kill brave all right so we're back yeah so it took two hours for first blood I don't know if that's a reliable metric oh IPPsec created this nice you know what maybe I can do a uh, WordPress XML RPC web shell upload. Uh -huh. Okay, let's try this. This looks promising. Where is the username and pass? Do I have to? What? Maybe the test and test one are actually the username and the password. Nope. Let's grab this one. Let's paste it in here and send it. Okay, maybe this time it's a two. All right, we can create file. Can we upload a Viva shell? Can we upload a web shell? Let's try uploading a PHP file. Does this work? Okay, we can't upload a PHP file, but maybe we can like circumvent it. Maybe if we do like a something like this. Okay, this works. Oh, maybe. Where do we have it? Maybe PHP does not work. But what about PHP 5? Another favorite is PHP 7. Does PH Archive work? No. Does PHTM work? PHTML. Just HTML. Okay, that worked. Okay, but now we have to find out. We can upload files, which is already great. So... WordPress XML RPC upload web shell. That's what I want. Um, oh, maybe maybe it explained to us how to do that further down the line. No, I got spoiled, so I'll spoil you. Too. I'll leak the source for the single post on the site and see that it's using PHP everywhere to run PHP from within the post. It's got spoiled, so we have to do red post source. and I WP get post is so painful to use who uses xml rpc anymore go away like this all right we want to have wp get post. what the hell is a block id slash rest and here we have it the php everywhere block all right let's continue here we can edit a post and for this we need the block id and the post id so get posts it was a one right param param okay one i think we have a param too much param value string string value param param okay we have a param too much okay this should be okay then we have the next param which is content do i have 
all of this i hope i can just pick and choose but where, where how the how should it know w w which one i want wait why am i i'm stupid again i just take everything that we have in here starting with the post type oh wait i have no idea how to use this interface to be honest what happens wait well, rpc edit post there's a python library i think this will make it a little bit easier we will try this one -ish. or you know what let's just ask ai right create an rpc oh you can't see it request for a wordpress update slash edit a wordpress blog post keep placeholders for username and password block id is one post id is one i mean we will see if this works as expected right something like this right no 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 why is it get posts because i haven't changed it so far does this work like this i highly doubt it somehow we are gonna try it and see what happens Fault code parse error not well formed okay i don't want to do it by hand you know that's my that's my issue so let's do it with this so let's go over to six boom, boom. where did where was here we have it and here we are going to create edit post edit post and just get this one go over here and then boom boom tack we do this we do that with the client and the post okay how do we set up a client yeah url username password http press.v and then it was xml rpc if i'm correct you can take a look at it yes all right this is followed by the username which is admin this is followed by the password which is this one over here so let's go back to five and now we have it okay so essentially we just need to run edit post okay if install wordpress xml rpc something like this over here how do i install it okay so we have something here let's move this to six so we can actually read what's going on so the example code doesn't even work fantastic working with posts okay you know what let's try it like this maybe this is gonna work maybe we can create wordpress post is not defined no here we have it and now did we create a post i don't think it works like i wanted it to work let's try it like this did this work i doubt it somehow it worked okay php every okay 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 Hacker uses this plugin oh no what it's yeah so php every red word i don't know how to use it I, I mean it's gonna be something pretty simple maybe i shouldn't have deleted the blog post in the first place but i mean somewhere in here we have this boom boom so let's get this so let's do this let's paste it in here and if i now update does it work yes okay it worked fantastic let's take a look at what we have in this code right in the decoder this looks like base 64 decoder space 64 oh we can oh code url i guess it is okay so what we need to do is we have to paste our command 